Reports reveal so far over 70 foreign heads of state have confirmed to either attend the memorial ceremony or the state funeral of Nelson Mandela in South Africa in the coming week on December 15. Mandela's state funeral is said to be the biggest the world has ever seen. Ten days of mourning have already been declared following the death of the 95-year-old on December 5. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said Ms. Kiap, who is currently based in London, will travel to South Africa for Mandela's funeral service. Mr. O'Neill said the government and people of Papua New Guinea mourn his passing, but will always admire his leadership, his courage under enormous pressure, and the wonderful inspiration he has provided for so many for so long. He said late Mandela will be remembered for his passion for freedom and for forgiving the apartheid government for the harsh treatments he received. He said he has left the legacy behind for all to follow and will be remembered by many generations. Chairman for World Bank Group and International Monetary Fund Board of Governors and Treasury Minister Don Pollier also sent his condolences to the family and friends of the late Nelson Mandela. Wabeg MP Robert Ghanim also sent his condolences. The leaders all described Mandela as a brilliant torchbearer of godly values who possessed rare values of forgiveness, peace and reconciliation that many leaders failed to achieve. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News.